hello everyone welcome to our tutorial this class is a beginner's class for our bead embroidery now all these i have here on um, this will be more like an introduction before we go into what i have for you so what we have here are different types of beads and technically things you need for your for bead embroidery you may not need all so any one you don't have you can always substitute so we're first of all going to start with our beads this bead we have here forget the container please don't mind the, the containers i put them in so what we have here is our seed bead this is a size two this is a size two seed bead this is a size two seed bead um this is a size one seed bead this is a size one seed bead and beads comes in different colors and different shapes it all has to do with your creativity you know you have to be creative now this is a size one sorry this is a size three seed bead this is a size three seed bead you can you can even look you can tell the difference from looking at them so let's start this is size one this is how they look in the container this is size two this is size three this is also a size two bead this is in water would i call it water or silver and this is it size two so this is oh, sorry this is a bugle bead or long bead or however we want to call it this is the bugle bead the long medium size one because they have a longer one but i don't have that here with me so this is bugle bead or bongo bead or however we want to call it also has different colors different sizes this this is a shorter bugle bead this is the shorter one shorter shorter one of this bugle bead um, this is a size four size four strand bead yes this is a size four strand bead it's a size four this is a size eight this is size six sorry size six strand bead you can see it's it's not the same the size four is much smaller you can see the difference this is four and this is six just showing you so you see how they look this is a size eight size a strand bead but i've removed this from this string i just pour them into this container so size eight these are also different um forget the container is also size size four bead the round one yes the round one that is smooth is not glass this is not glass bead this is not glass bead why this is glass bead we also have our teardrop this is our teardrop bead you can use it to design use it also to embroider okay so this is our rhinestones these are our rhinestones we have different types 
I got these from AliExpress. But you can also get them in the stores in the markets near you. If you stay in Lagos, you can get this from Yaba. And I heard you can also get it from Lagos Island. If in Abuja, you can get this from Rusi Market or Gariki International Market. This is also some rhinestones. I got these two from AliExpress. These are all rhinestones. And this nylon is torn. So these are all rhinestones. Now for your thread, for your embroidery thread, this I don't know if you've watched my YouTube videos. You can check me out on Inkiria Zudu, my YouTube channel. If you check my YouTube videos, I always make mention of um, uh, a, a, an extremely thin thread that I use or needle. You see that here. So this is this is it. Sorry, the down part has broken off, so I have to find. Yes, I don't know if you can see. I see how thin. You see how thin the thread is. This is it. You've seen how thin it is. It's very thin. So this is what they use for tambo. They use this for tambo embroidery. I also got this off AliExpress. You can also use this um, bead embroidery. Yes, you can also use this bead embroidery wire thread. I also got this from AliExpress. I shop most of my beading stuff from AliExpress. My bead embroidery items. I also got this from AliExpress. These are also embroidery thread. I think they are called it iron mesh or wire mesh. I'll check. Just call basically if you want to the color to match your beads or anything like that if you don't want to use the invisible thread you can also use this they also use this for fabric embroidery so these are our threads um i forgot to mention this is also another type of beads another type of bead you can work with yes so for our needle, our needle for hand beading, you can either choose to. Oh, and I forgot to mention, you can use your the regular sewing thread. You can use the regular sewing thread to bead. So it depends on your choice and the type of work. So for beading needles, you can use this. This is the normal type they sell in the market. Yes, this is the number 11 beading needle. I, however, I, I use this extremely thin needles I got from AliExpress too. Cause this needle most times, sometimes it cannot pass like um, the size one bead size one bead this needle may not be able to pass through it so but with these thin needles with these thin needles i will provide the link where i got the needles for you for you guys so don't be worried so with these thin needles you can easily pass through you can easily pass through yeah you can pass through any size of beach and you can also use this needle with both the a normal sewing thread and um, this type of this thin thread but it might not be able to this thread might not be able to pass through the needle also for to thread our needle 
I use this. This is um, a needle threader. Yes, I got this also from AliExpress. If you are going to hear a lot of AliExpress from me, so you can get this off AliExpress. I'll provide the link for you. If you're not sewing, sorry, if you're not sewing with your hand, then there's what we call tambo embroidery or RIDG. This is going to be my um, third class. Um, this class is going to be into th divided into three. We have the beginners, the intermediate, and the tambo beading class separately. So this uh this is our tambo embroidery hook. This is our different sizes of needle, the big, medium, and then this is the small. So for this tambo, this tambo embroidery needle. You might be required to use a tambo hook. Yes, this is called a tambo, a tambo free. Sorry, this is a tambo free. It comes in different sizes. This is also another type of tambo embroidery frame. I'll be showing how to how to mount it in my subsequent videos. So this, I also have another type of frame. There are also different. There are bigger ones where you can work on big um, dresses. So for uh, fabric you can embroider on practically any fabric you can embroider on any fabric this is but what I use mainly this is um, lining material this is just lining white this is two or net fabric hard net or hard two this is organza you can also embroider on silk I don't have this have that here so that's it for fabric now to mark on your fabric this we call this um pencil chalk pencil chalk it doesn't um stain like pencils and once you wash up your fabric it goes i got this also from aliexpress it comes in different colors i have other colors i just wanted to show you guys you don't sharpen it another type of um embroidery marker too we have is this embroidery pens once you they are water soluble once you wash it it goes off it doesn't stain your clothes so these are this is another type then you have your embroidery scissors it's not necessary that you have this you can use a regular scissors but where this comes in handy is when you have to cut off your 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 bead project from your frame and you need to cut as close as possible in order to um in order to uh, make your work look neat then when you're stringing a lot of beads when you're stringing a lot of beads i bought this on aliexpress too it's a bead stringer you just pour in you pour in all your beads in here and then it comes with just one set of needle you put it to the side use one hand and twirl it while you it strings immediately you can google how to use this i'll provide the links for all this later on and then you need your patterns some of them i drew these patterns myself from the patterns you transfer you either transfer trace it to the fabric or you hand draw it yourself so these are some of the patterns i have why these patterns i printed them off pinterest so these are some other patterns i printed off pinterest so you can check pinterest for patterns to embroider so that's the introductory that's the basics um i, I also forgot to show you sequence we'll also be embroidering with different types of sequence so i'm sure you most of us know what sequence is all about this is the regular type you see here in nigeria these types i got them from aliexpress yeah this is, this is also sequence this is flower sequence this is flower sequence so Stay tuned, I'll be teaching you now different basic um, embroidery stitches. Thank you.